Welcome to my ASVAB party, people. I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach, and I hope you're doing well today. So in this video, I'm really excited about this one because this is a problem that people definitely have trouble with, um, especially if you're trying to get a 40, 50 or more. This is a problem that stumps a lot of people because typically when you blend more than one idea or concepts when it comes to math, a lot of people typically mess up. So if you know how to do a problem like this, then you're giving yourself a massive advantage in terms of your potential ASVAB score. So pay attention, let's have some fun. And before I begin, pay attention really quick, pay attention. If you are in the program, this is what you wanna do after the video. After the video, you're gonna to wanna to go into your ASVAB Arithmetic Reasoning Bootcamp course. It's in your account, you got it for free as an update, remember that. And I just added in something really, really awesome. So you are now gonna have access to your unit nine circles, uh, your checkpoint here, your unit checkpoint. And so pretty much what this is, is this. You're gonna have questions that have you calculate circumference, area, finding radius, diameter, looking at different word problems, um, revolutions of a wheel, all of these different types of problems tested on you randomly. That way you can guarantee that when you see circles on the ASVAB, you are good. So here's what I mean. So if you take a look behind me, you have again, 10 questions for this checkpoint. The minimum to pass is six out of 10. That's one star. Get all 10 correct, five stars, and five stars means you're good. So what you're gonna do is right there, you see that ready to start button when you're ready to go, you'll click that, you'll go through this, and you're gonna have fun. You know, you'll click the answers that you think it is, you see your timers up there at the top right, you have everything going for you, and once you're done, boom, you'll submit it, and you'll see what your score was. So for me, well, oh man, I didn't pass, right? So no worries, but I can go ahead and click the feedback report right here, and I can see all of the work, I can see what the correct answer was and actually how to do it. So every single question, you're gonna have a step-by-step -step solution and that's why we've got your back all the way until you pass. Make sure to take advantage of these resources as well as the extra flashcards, lessons, um, the extra worksheets, casual practice with video solutions. Seriously, my party people, it's there to help you succeed. So don't miss out on this, you already have it in your account. And if you don't have it and you want, you're interested in it, there's a link in the description of this video you can check the full program with. But without further ado, we're here to tackle this problem. If you want more of this, again, just reach out to me. Here's my phone number really quick. Text me if you need any help, okay? Here we go. So this is, again, a pretty complicated problem. So here we see that it says, hey, what is the area of the circle? So again, when you start with the question, you know what you're looking for. Since they tell us specifically area of a circle that immediately immediately tells me that i need to use the formula for the area of a circle so for me that's going to be area equals pi r squared okay great and the problem even says give the answer in terms of pi so keeping it in exact form sweet sounds good so what makes this problem hard well here's the thing if we want to find the area we need the radius that's a fairly straightforward and pretty reasonable point to make, right? Yeah, we just need the radius. We plug that into the formula and we're done. But the problem is that the problem doesn't give you the radius. Look at what it gives you. The problem gives you the circumference. It gives you the circumference. So this is where a lot of people get stuck and a lot of people give up, but this is what you can actually do. It's all about building relationships or building connections. That's what word problems are at the end of the day. How well are you able to build connections? Understanding the relationships between everything. Well, if you have a circumference of 10 pi centimeters, I know that the formula for the circumference is circumference equals two pi r, or the other one is gonna be circumference equals pi times the diameter, right? Either one of those works. Those are the same exact formula because the diameter is just double the radius, two times r, that's the diameter. It's literally the same exact formula. But the one I'm gonna wanna use is gonna be this one because the radius is right there. So here's the plan. The plan is gonna be, use that circumference formula because you have 10 pi centimeters given as the circumference. So I'll say 10 pi equals the, the circumference formula, two pi r. Once I solve this, I will be able to have the radius by itself. Once I have the radius by itself, guess what my party people? I can plug that right in and I can solve for the area. Again, it's all about building connections. 
every single time. If you don't know how to build connections, it's going to be fairly difficult. So let's apply the strategy that we just learned. Let's solve this and let's see what we got. Oh, guess what? If you wanted to join all of our classes for a full week for free, then I highly recommend you join our full program trial, no credit card required, and it's easy to join. All you have to do is text TRIAL to 833-321-0182 or check the link in the description of this video to get started. Super easy, and I hope you raise your score and show you the right way. Let's go. So first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides here by 2 pi. And I notice that I'm going to cancel out my pi's, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So my radius here is going to be 5. And, it's, and you see that that's pretty straightforward, but we're not done. Because you might be tempted to say that that's, oh, that's b, that's 5 pi. No. We have our radius, and now it's time to get our area. So let's plug it into that formula again for the area, being area equals pi r squared, where again, my radius is five. So that's gonna be area equals pi times five squared. Five squared is 25, so my area is 25 pi. Since it was centimeters, it would be square centimeters, and there it is, we're done. So hopefully this, this felt easy after the fact, but remember my party people like, it only feels easy after you get enough practice. If you think that I make it look easy, but it's hard for you, well, there's a difference in our experience, but it's not impossible to really close that gap. Really, seriously, practice every single day. Even if it's just looking at a problem and just talking to yourself about it. Like, oh yeah, oh, that's a proportion problem. I know because you're comparing the same things in the same way. Cool, like just refreshing constantly, getting into it. I'm, I'm telling you, the more into it you are, the more interested you are, the easier it gets. So if you have any questions at all about this, my part of you, but like I said, you know, if you're in the program, get into the circles unit, unit five in the arithmetic reasoning bootcamp, or excuse me, unit nine, and go in there and practice, practice, practice. Watch videos for the lessons if you need to, but ultimately your goal is to pass the unit checkpoint. Earn your stars, that way you can be ASVAB ready at the end of the day. And so with that said, my ASVAB party people, you know who I am. I'm Coach Anderson. I love y'all. Make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your favorite part if you support this. Let's keep it up, and I'll see you in the next video. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait. Subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's going to help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.